So, uh, what are we going to do tonight, O.C.G.? Why, the same thing we tried to do every night, but take over the world. I mean, uh, Twitch, uh, take over Twitch. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to Obsessive Capacitive Gaming. I am the Obsessive Compulsive Gamer, joined once again by my faithful manservant slash Buck Totem Badger. And this is my review for East Nine Monstrum Dogs. So, my friends, East Nine Monstrum Dogs was released recently for the PlayStation 4. And surprising yes. absolutely no one, That's a given. except for the village idiot, baby. It is the sequel to East 8, Lacrimosa of Dana. The main plot this time concerns our intrepid adventurer, Adol, becoming a monstrum after being shot with a magic bullet. And no, before you ask, that is not referring to the sex toy. It is an actual magic bullet. This gives Adol the curse. And no, before you ask, that is not referring to a woman's time of the month. This curse gives Adol the devil trigger form from Devil May Cry. No, not literally, but it is very similar, and adorns Adol in very fetching crimson armor, and for some reason changes his name to the Crimson King. Subtle, this game is not. So, it is up to Adol and the other monstrums to defend Prison City from the forces of darkness. Sorry. What's a monster? Well, that's quite simple, dear viewer. It's a... Uh, it's, it, it's, a, it's a, it's a, it's a, moving on. This game reminded me of Tales of Berseria. Not least because both games feature a prison in their first few hours, but also that both protagonists undergo some kind of transformation. Now, I'm not saying that East Nine ripped off Tales of Berseria, but it was definitely looking at its exam paper. So, as you might have already gleaned, this is like Basalia, uh, and like Basalia, it can be pretty dark in places. I mean, for heaven's sake, the sword you start the game with is called the Gothic Sword. Subtle, this game is not. Gothic is indeed the word of the day in the universe of these monsters. The realms, red moons. All the game is missing is Dracula, and this would most almost have been Castlevania RPG. This game is so depressing at times. There's a noose in my boudoir that's just begging to be wrapped around my neck. And, uh, don't ask why I have a noose in my boudoir, or what the word boudoir means. I believe the developers of this game are actually vampires, because no human being could make something as dark as this. Well, except for Tim Burton, perhaps. And as far as I am aware, he has never tried his hand at game development. Though most of the dark moments in the game occur during its new gameplay mechanic, and the thing you are going to be doing most in East 9, 
apart from the usual grinding and picking your nose, of course. You see, you move between realms. The other realm reminds me of Silent Hill and is full of monsters and other degenerates. You will often have to fight waves of them. I imagine this is where people like Randy Pitchford and Harvey Weinstein spend most of their time these days. It is called the Grimwald Knox, but I prefer to call it by its unofficial name, R. Kelly's Sex Dungeon. <clears throat> now, East 9 carries over the action RPG mechanics of East 8, wherein the game plays less like a traditional RPG like Dragon Quest or Final Fantasy, and is more like a hack and slash game, akin to Bayonetta or Devil May Cry. The gameplay of East has never been better than it is in this game. You can scale walls like a lot of video game characters, glide like uh, a lot of video game characters, teleport like uh, a lot of video game characters, and double jump like a lot of vi I think you get the point. Regardless, if it's been done before. It's never been done in an East game before. As far as I'm aware. Speaking of things being carried over from other East games, this game carries on the tradition of having a homosexual gentleman who will often flirt with not only the male protagonist, so in this case Adol, but every male in sight. I guess sexually transmitted diseases don't Stay exist ready. in these fantasy worlds. But then again, the neither does erectile dysfunction. Or irritable bowel suggest. syndrome. Well, unless it's Metal Gear Solid, of course. Where do you two think that brings going? us very nicely to voice acting, dear viewer. At least the developers of this game had the sense to include British voice <laughs> acting. Led those guys on the Other RPG the developers should take you note. Know. I do I not want to play so my video games in an alien language. The only time I make an exception to this is pornography. Mostly because the acting is diabolical. Although, boom, later, did have some decent acting in between all the, uh, fornicating. I'm getting off track here. Let, let's get back to the review. Oh, and in case you were wondering, Womb Later is a pornographic parody of Tomb Raider. Yes, no doubt you'll be looking that up as soon as this review is done. You dog, you. <laughs> anyway, <clears throat> although this is yet another game where not all of the dialogue is voice acted, and there is a very good reason for this, dear viewer. The cast, seemingly, could only record their dialogue when they took bathroom breaks. You see, the recording equipment was obviously kept there so that they could only record snippets at a time. And inevitably, some of the dialogue was forgotten. This is understandable, because no one spends hours in the bathroom. Well, except for maybe cleaners, and plumbers, and compulsive masturbators, and Johnny from Metal Gear Solid. Yes. Moving on, speaking of Metal Gear Solid, this game takes the plot twist from The Phantom Pain. I mean, I don't want to say East 9 ripped it off, but it was definitely looking at The Phantom Pain's exam paper. 
And last but not least, music. The music often sounds like it was composed by the Phantom of the Opera on a synthesizer. Now, being a fan of both Phantoms and synthesizers, I loved it. The rest of the time, it sounds like the Frankenstein monster on electric guitar. Oh, you didn't know he played? Now, oh, he was gifted the hands of a musician after all. No, actually, that's ridiculous. He was actually gifted the hands of a sex offender. So he still played, just uh, with a different instrument entirely. The music reminded me a lot of the soundtrack for Code Vein, and that means it is bloody amazing. If you haven't already guessed, dear viewer, this is another excellent entry in the East series. In fact, in fact, in fact, this might be my favorite one yet. Therefore, I am going to give East 9 Monstrum Nops an 8 out of 10. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. My review for East 9. If you've enjoyed this little review of mine, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. If you haven't enjoyed it, well then, feel free to give me the middle finger. Please, feel free to hit that like, subscribe, bell button thingy. Share the video around to friends and family. No, maybe not so much family, they may, may take offense to some of the jokes in here. Maybe just let your cousin see it, maybe not your mother so much. Ah, uh, feel free to jump over to my Twitch channel, which I'm sure you'll agree is bloody hilarious. But remember the single most important thing I always tell you, dear viewer, and that is to always stay obsessed with gaming. Yes. Yes, 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 yes. You know, I, I should really stop singing. I guess it's a work I just read. I was often in Bob Jack in the, uh, let's play with an opera company, but that's a, that's a story for another time. Anyway, I can't find the button to Something stop this thing. Where is it? Oh, yes. 